Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we will see how we can have multiple recycler views inside one screen using scroll view. So let me show you the demo app that we will be creating. Okay, so as you can see we have this horizontal recycler view and again this horizontal recycler view, this one and again this one. So we implemented four recycler views inside one screen. And you can add recycler views uh, as much as you want in one screen. So let's get started with creating this app. So I have created one empty project and I have added some colors in colors. So you can see the dark red and the red. You can see the hex code over here. And then in the themes, I changed the action bar to no action bar. And then I changed the status bar color to dark red. And I will close this now and also in the layout i have added some layouts so this is the offer layout and we just have an image view inside this constraint layout and then the clothing layout and inside this we just have one card view and then inside that we have constraint layout image view and text view and then the last one it is a best seller layout in which we have constraint layout and inside that we have one card view over here and then we have image view inside that and then we added another card view for this kind of effect and inside that we have one text view so i will provide a source code in the description box so if you want this file you can get it from there so let me just close them okay so in the activity main uh, first of all we'll add one scroll view and this constant layout will Constraint it horizontal in parent and vertical in parent. Okay, and then we'll move to the split mode. We'll delete this linear layout. We'll add one constraint layout. We'll keep height and width as a match parent. And inside that, we'll add some recycler views. So we'll drag this inside the constraint layout. I'll just constrain this one horizontal in parent and as you can see we have three layouts so let's give it an id so best seller recycler view hit enter and we'll constrain this to the top we'll give it some margin from the top and from both sides 8 dp then we'll drag another recycler view inside this constraint layout we keep it over here let's provide it id first so we will give it id as clothing recycler view so we hit enter we'll constrain this not this this one we'll constrain this horizontal in parent and top to the bottom of the first recycler view we'll provide some margin from the top 24 dp and from the both sides 8 dp again we will drag another recycler view inside this constant layout we will provide it id this is offer recycler view ok and we will put it over here we will constrain its top to the bottom of second recycler view will provide some margin of 24 dp and from the both sides of 8 dp okay and then we'll have another recycler view we'll put it inside the constraint layout and then we'll give it a uh, id so let's give it as a best seller to recycler view so we just have so we just have three layouts so that's why we will be using this best seller layout We'll constrain this. Okay, sorry. We'll constrain this horizontal in parent and top of this to the third recycler view. We'll give some margin from the top of 24 dp and 8 dp from the both sides. So as you can see, we have added four recycler views inside one screen using scroll view. So again, you can have multiple recycler views uh, below this as well. So yeah. Okay, so the next step that we will be doing we will find their ids first so we have four recycler views 
of a recycler view best seller recycler view again we have clothing recycler view and then the best seller recycler view two two and we'll put send column then we'll find their ids so let's give some comments here of a recycler view okay so of a recycler view we'll find its id of a recycler view we'll set some properties to it so it has fixed size we'll pass true here and we'll set layout manager to it new linear layout manager will pass this and another parameter that will be vertical linear layout manager vertical and we have to pass third parameter as a false that is reverse layout we don't want a reverse layout okay then i'll just copy this three lines and we'll give some comments our best recycler we'll paste that code and we'll change this to best best seller recycler view this will be best seller recycler view and this will be best seller recycler view and then we have clothing and best seller too so clothing recycler view So now what we'll do, uh, we'll create model class. So click on your package and we'll add another package. We'll name it as a model or you can name utils. So inside that, first uh, we will have, let me just open the layouts. Okay, so we need to create uh, two model views for base seller and clothing because for the offer layout we just have an image view so we can directly pass it so inside the model we'll create one java class we'll name it as best seller and inside this we'll have int image and we'll have one string of offer we'll create our one constructor for it We'll take input as int image and string offer means the parameters and then we'll set this dot image equals to then this dot offer equals to offer and we'll create getters so click on generate and click on getters select both of this click on ok then we'll need another model class so new java class and this should be clothing similarly we'll have image and text so private int image private string offer we'll create constructor for it so private clothing we'll pass int image and string offer this dot image equals to image this dot offer equals to offer and then generate getters select both click on ok and yeah that's it now we'll create adapters for all the recycler views so we'll create one package we'll name it as an adapter and inside this we'll have clothing adapter this will extend to recycler view sorry recycler view dot adapter and we'll create inner class so public class clothing view holder this will extend to recycler view dot view holder 
press alt enter to create constructor and then we'll pass the clothing recycler view folder here sorry press alt enter to implement methods at the top we'll create one list private list and this will be type of clothing model class you can name it as a clothing list and then we'll create constructor for this class so clothing adapter will pass in the list as a parameter and then clothing list we'll set it to our class variable and then clothing list inside the clothing view holder we inflate the layout so view view equals to layout inflator dot from will pass the context so parent dot get context inflate r dot layout dot clothing layout and then parent and false a return new clothing view holder will pass in the view and then in get item count will specify the size so dot size and in here we have the text view let's name it as an offer and we have one image view so image view and image view let's just find the id so offer equals to item view dot find view by id r dot id dot let's just uh, this clothing offer tv yes and we have m image view r dot id dot clothing image let's just check it so clothing image and clothing offer fine so in on bind view holder holder dot offer dot set text we'll use our clothing list so clothing list dot get will pass in the position dot get offer then holder dot image view dot set image resource so clothing list dot get will pass in the position and dot get image and yeah that's it so that's done for the clothing adapter and then we need to create another adapter for best seller so best seller adapter so i will fast forward this because it is going to be same So we created this list uh, as a type of integer because we'll be passing the drawable so it will be in the type of integer okay okay so we are done with these uh, three adapters so now we'll move to the main activity so at the top we have best recycler view so we'll okay that's fine we'll first implement offer recycler view so inside the offer recycler view we just have to pass one image so what we can do we can create one list of type integer let's name it as an image list we'll initialize it as a new array list and then we'll add some data to it so add and we'll pass r dot drawable dot offer shopping we'll just duplicate this three times and instead of offer shopping this will be 
a common canon offer and this will be tv offer okay fine then we'll initialize our adapter which is offer adapter let's name it as offer adapter and new offer adapter we'll pass in this image list and then offer recycle view dot set adapter we'll pass in the offer adapter and that's it now we'll move to the best recycler view so we'll create one list of type best seller we'll name it as a best seller list post new array list and we'll add some data to it so best seller list dot add so new best seller and we have to pass the drawable first so we'll pass bags and then the, uh, another parameter which is offer so let's write anything here so up to 20 percent off and we'll just duplicate this two times so instead of bags we will have mobiles and here we'll have watches and yeah that's done now we'll call the adapter so best seller adapter best seller adapter equals to new best seller adapter and we need to pass the list here which is best seller list and then best seller recycler view dot set adapter and we'll pass in the best seller adapter and same color so then uh, the clothing recycler view similarly we'll create one list of clothing model type clothing list equals to new array list and semicolon then clothing list dot add new clothing similarly we need to pass the drawable here as well so our drawable dot we will pass device clothing up to 30 percent off in column we just duplicate this and instead of Levi's clothing, we'll pass women's clothing, and he'll pass Nike shoes. Okay, and then at the last, we'll call the adapter. So we'll initialize the adapter first. So clothing adapter. Let's name it as a clothing adapter. New clothing adapter, and we'll pass in this list. Then our list. So sorry, our recycle view dot set adapter will pass in the clothing adapter and semicolon then for the bestseller 2 what we'll do we'll directly set adapter to it which is a best seller adapter and this will be happy so now it's time to run the app i have connected my real device so it is okay so as you can see it is vertical because uh, we made one mistake and yeah so that's funny instead of passing vertical here we need to pass horizontal and it will be happy so in all the recycler views we'll set property to horizontal in here as well so horizontal and let's try to run the app again So yeah, now it is horizontal. So again, you can beautify this. You can create your custom layouts, and everything looks fine to me. And below this, you can have again many recycler views as you want. It's totally up to you. And it is not the best way to implement multiple recycler views inside one screen. Uh, what we can do instead of using scroll views, uh, we can use one recycler view and uh, inside that we can have multiple recycler views. So the benefits of recycler view as we all know it just uh, recycle the views and that is beneficial for efficiency of our code or efficiency of our app. So that is ben beneficial for speed of our app as it doesn't use all the memory. So I'll make a video on that topic as well multiple recycler views inside one recycler view so subscribe for that and thank you for watching